Hi all, Darwin Gross here with uh, my little addition to the Little Bits interface work. Um, I've gotten a chance to work with uh, the Little Bits CV, USB I.O. and MIDI interface objects and I'm using them to interface with my modular system. So what I've done first of all is I've made a very simple max patch here with a little phaser leading into a triangle object which gives us triangle waves and it's interfaced to the DAC. Uh, in this case, the DAC is uh, the core two-channel audio devices, which is then, in fact, the USB audio, the W27 audio device. So I'm working with channel one only. Channel There's only one channel of I.O. on each of these, so I just use that uh, channel one, and I'm sending this triangle wave out. Now, if we look at the little bit system itself, we can see that the uh, USB I.O. is accepting uh, the data and I have this number selected to it. Let me slow this down a little bit. We see that we're getting a nice little triangle wave shape uh, in terms of numbers and it's being displayed on this number. Now what I did was I stuck a pressure sensor um, after the I.O. and the number combination so that I can basically with a touch control whether my LFO is being routed to my uh, to my modular. So in this case, when I press it, you can see that the bar graph here shows us that that LFO is going out. And I also have a W18CV option which with the output going to my modular system. Now if I turn up my modular, I've got this dorky little synth line going. And if I, uh, if I press on the pressure sensor, I can get it to uh, basically use the LFO for changing pitch. Now in my patch, if I crank up the speed of the LFO, Now the nice thing is because this is coming out of Max's audio information, I can actually go all the way up into audio, the audio range, giving us some really distorted sounding uh, FM frequency modulation. So that was done with just manipulating this one number box and holding down the pressure sensor on my uh, on my little bit setup. Now, in order to make this even more interesting, what I want to do is I want to make it so that that sequence that's running on the modular system gets sent back to the max patch so that I can tempo sync the phaser and the triangle wave with that item. So I'm going to make a couple of quick switches here. So what I've done is I've changed my little bits patch so that it now is um, also receiving so that it's also receiving the uh, the timing information from my modular patch. So you can see that what I've done is I've got CV routed into another W18 CV module, but this time it's using the input. And then I'm taking the RGB LED and just using that so that I can make sure that I'm getting my pulses. The fact that I'm getting my pulses is pretty good news. Next up, I need uh, to I need to take my uh, my MIDI thing, make sure that I'm in output mode, connect my USB. and make sure that uh, I, my Max patch is set up to deal with this. So let's jump back to Max. Um, I have a little patch here that contains uh, some basic code that I'm going to use for this. And now if I, uh, if I properly set this up to use the Korg uh, MIDI input, I can see that my 
LED light and my little button are triggering at the same time. And what I can do is I can use this timer mechanism to figure out, first of all, what is the time between, uh, between hits. And you can see it wavers a little bit because of the analog nature of the incoming pulse. I use this line tilt that average things out, and then I do, I, uh, do 1,000 divided by that in order to get a number of, uh, in order to get my rate. And then I can use this instead of my, uh, instead of my phaser, or instead of my input, to determine to determine what speed my phaser is going to run at. So now it slows way down because what I'm doing is I'm doing a phaser that's directly locked to the speed of my, uh, to the speed of my sequence. So if I listen to it, and I use the pressure sensor to turn on some LFO. I can hear that it's directly tied to the speed of my sequencer. Now that's cool, but what's a lot funner is if I can use subdivisions or multiply multiplications. And that's done with uh, a single object called rate. And I'm, by default, I'm going to use a multiplier of one. And again, I should get about the same results. Awesome. But now what I'm going to actually do is take a floating point number box and control the rate using a floating point number box. So in this case, I'm going to say I want it to do four times the speed of the incoming rate. There you go. Slows way down as it takes it to uh, be four times as much. If I want it to go four times faster than the incoming pulse rate, I can just say that I want it to run at 0.25. So all of this is brought to you courtesy of our friends at Korg and Little Bits and the ability to use Little Bits interfacing devices to actually make these things interface with our Max patches. Hope you enjoy it. All of this is available on the Cycling74 slash LittleBits uh, site, and I hope to see you there. Thanks a lot. Bye.